We are so pleased to welcome back on set today Tom Calter, who is the town administrator for the town of Kingston. Welcome back. Julie, thanks for having me and pardon my raspy voice. I like your raspy I'm voice. I'm just getting it back. It shows you talk a lot. I certainly do. <laughs> Which is great. We're here and we've been here with all the um, town managers and administrators about town meeting. Now I've noticed, uh, I, it, it's hard not to notice, that the Kingston town meeting tends to go on for quite a few evenings. Indeed. Um, is there a particular reason why your town meeting lasts a long time in your opinion? There's a couple of reasons, Julie. Uh, you know, first of all, town meeting is, without question, the purest form of government yep. that we have. And whatever it takes, it takes. Uh, governing is not easy. Yeah. It can be complex. It can be messy. Yeah. And whatever it is, is okay. Uh, but more importantly, the second reason is we have a lot going on in Kingston. Mm -hmm. uh, Kingston is a community that's, that's really on the move. Uh, we've made a priority of economic development. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking to new businesses uh, almost daily mm -hmm. uh, about coming to Kingston. Uh, over the past two decades, a great deal uh, of uh, preservation has mm -hmm. occurred, which we all support, uh, but not much development. Yeah. And during that time period, the pressure on residential taxpayers has increased dramatically right. because our commercial base has decreased. Right. So my charge is to build the economy in Kingston, mm -hmm. and that requires a great deal of zoning uh, yeah. adjustments, zoning right. changes. Uh, uh, community in, uh, community impact yep. and input, yep. and that all plays out at town meeting. Right. So right. it's all good. It is all good, right. Um, now, I have also noticed over the past year, especially when Josh Warren came on, um, your board of selectmen, that there has been a lot more um, shows that, that you've taken advantage of PAC-TV's <coughs> ability to uh, do shows Excuse for you. Uh, for example, Josh Warren created and is hosting a show called Good Day Kingston. Janet Wade has a show, Healthy Kingston, and both shows have a variety of topics and guests. This provides a, a, a theater for a lot of information, and we're covering more and more meetings in the town of Kingston. Yes, you are. So I know as a resident of Pembroke, when I go to the town meeting, it's really nice that I have had the ability to learn and listen to a lot of different opinions and a lot of different information about the warrants so that I don't go in there cold and blind. Right. Can you speak to that? First, let me say that Selectman Warren uh, has been on the job for almost a year mm -hmm. now. I've never known anyone uh, who has run for office for the first time and had such a profound impact mm -hmm. on the community. Josh is genuinely interested in open government and sure. transparency, and so he has worked very hard to bring the Kingston citizens into the process right. in a very positive, data-driven, upbeat way, and, and I thank him for that. We all thank him for that. He's an extraordinary young leader. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Mm -hmm. um, the Board of Selectmen believe uh, that it's their job to bring information to the community. Mm -hmm. So at every Board of Selectmen meeting, uh, we now cover between five, seven, eight of the articles in great detail so that folks aren't hearing it for the first time. Mm -hmm. We have public meetings scheduled between now and May 4th mm -hmm. uh, on the more complex issues having to do with our anticipated investment in wastewater treatment expansion. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the marijuana uh, uh, bylaw, uh, in our economic economic development plans. Mm -hmm. Again, the objective, is, is, as Josh has, has really uh, displayed, is to bring to our citizens mm -hmm. the information they need and they deserve in order to cast an informed vote at right. town meeting. And what is true, I think, in all towns is that you're, you give out information not everyone is always going to agree on the information. That's okay. And, and that's, that's, that's democracy. That's democracy. You have, you have people that just, just don't agree, and that's okay. So if everyone's coming from the same set of facts, they absolutely might come to different opinions about those facts, but the facts are the facts. You know, I served as a legislator for 12 years in the 12th Plymouth District, and, and that's exactly what I used to say uh, to, to the folks of the 12th, 40,000 constituents, that reasonable people will typically reach consensus if they're all looking at good data. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, in these times, people bring their own ideology, their own data, their own opinions, uh, informed or otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, to the argument. And so it's difficult to zero in on consensus. Mm. Uh, the leaders of Kingston, and, and I'm very proud to work on their behalf, uh, believe that good data is imperative to good government. Sure. And, and there are those uh, who have been 
shouting from the rooftop for many times that open and transparency is very important, and we agree with them. Mm -hmm. uh, openness, transparency, good information, good data is critical. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'll tell you, I, I work for the Kingston Board of Selectmen, uh, and through them for the citizens of the town of Kingston. And uh, I can tell you to a person, all five members are absolutely committed to sharing everything right. to the best of their ability and, and without driving a particular ideology or agenda so that folks can make an informed decision. Right. And again, in any <clears throat> democracy, oftentimes compromise is, is the answer. That things do end up being, it's not black or white, it's always gray. You know, we're, very, um, we're all very critical of ourselves mm -hmm. and, and others. Uh, if our federal government operated as local government operated, uh, we wouldn't have the challenges we have today in Washington. So as imperfect as town meeting may be, mm -hmm. as imperfect as town government may be, boy, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's to me, it's a true representative government. Right. And it's a government that, that works for the people and with the people and is open to the people. Mm -hmm. And unlike uh, our federal government. And town government is not influenced by outside sources. We're right. influenced by the citizens yep. who we consider our board members. That's who you work for. That's who you we work, work for. Your for. citizens. Now, your your uh, town meeting is on May fourth, which is a Saturday at the Kingston Intermediate School. Right. Between now and then, people can go to um, PacTV.org and look at um, your selectmen's meetings because right. we, we have them all on demand. So you can look at see what articles have been have been talked about and, and the the rationale be behind whatever decisions you've made. Um, one of the one of the biggest things is um, you have wastewater and water distribution capital projects. Right. Can you just briefly describe what those are? I, I will. Uh, first of all, let me say that the town warrant uh, is is nearly complete and it will be. Uh, uh, made public to the community the earliest it's ever been made public, at least in the 31 years I've been in Kingston. And where will they find it? And that? again, they'll find it on the Kingston website. website. Okay. They can come into Town Hall and get yep. a copy of it. Uh, we want people to come get it, to understand it, to walk into my office Beforehand. and ask a question. Water and wastewater. <clears throat> Very, very important to understand that Kingston is very rich in terms of its uh, land and its location. Mm -hmm. So we're right off Route 3, yep. three exits off of Route 3, yep. uh, Route 44 east and west, uh, but we have not done a lot of major development. There are big, big clean energy, clean biotech companies uh, that are looking for the type of resources that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, connection to rail, the MBTA, mm -hmm. uh, 40-hour district, uh, access to the highway, access to 44. So we have been actively reaching out to them. So in order to do that, we need to support them with water and Absolutely. wastewater. Absolutely. Your infrastructure has to be there. Our waste, let's take water. Our water, water infrastructure is a low-pressure water infrastructure from the mall south into Plymouth. Okay. Uh, it's high pressure right up to Indian Pond. In order to support anticipated growth in commercial development, mm -hmm. we need to expand that water distribution system and increase it to high pressure. Pressure everywhere. Down 3A right into Plymouth. Yep. Through okay. the mall, down 3A right into Plymouth. Okay. That will give us the water. We are rich in water resources. Okay. But our distribution system is, 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 is not as uh, progressive as so it is. So you got to work be. on that. In wastewater, uh, we built the plant primarily to serve the communities along the waterfront to yep. deal with our Title V problems. Uh, in order to build uh, an economic base, we need to expand our wastewater capacity mm -hmm. at the plant, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be by one tank, two tanks, or three tanks. So we're in active negotiation um, with Kingston Collection mm -hmm. uh, to determine whether their anticipated 300 housing units mm -hmm. and hotel will hook up to our yep wastewater plant or whether they will build their, their own, own plant. Okay. We have major lots of land mm -hmm. in Kingston that can provide tremendous economic commercial growth for us, but the, the, and the distribution system for wastewater goes right by their property, yeah. but they're not hooked up and they're permitted, for instance, for one bathroom okay. when it could be 30 units. Okay. So that's what Those are all the things water and out. wastewater yep. is about. Is It's the support system for our economic base. Okay, great. You have two other subjects. Let's talk about really briefly is marijuana and solar development. Yes. Kingston is one of the communities that at the ballot box voted against retail marijuana sales. Okay. At town meeting, in a very sudden turn of events, uh, Kingston did away with, with its moratorium and by a narrow margin passed 
uh, retail um, marijuana sales. Okay. It caught us off guard, it caught all of us off guard. Mm -hmm. So we worked very quickly to develop a zoning bylaw uh, for dealing with that. And mm -hmm. the zoning bylaw is, is, is flawed. It's very restrictive. Uh, it, it allows for develop uh, for opening of a retail sales facility in very small portions of town. Mm -hmm. and that was not the intent. Right. So one of the town meeting warrants is to open it up perhaps to industrial and to other commercial areas uh, so we don't have two facilities in right. one Same part place. of town. Right, okay. On the other hand, there are citizens' petitions that says bring back the moratorium. Yeah. So we're going to have yeah. five articles yep. on marijuana that, that – Traverse the the, pers the the whole perspective from yeah. ban it yeah. to expand it. And again, this is just it's all based on uh, you know democracy. It's exactly democracy right. will rule on that one. In but go in with with knowledge and with facts. In terms of solar, you know we're we're going after development that increases our revenue and decreases the burden on our citizens mm -hmm. uh, as fast as possible. There's some low hanging fruit. Our landfill was a ripe location to build solar on, which will generate over $200,000 a year in revenue into yep. our tax base. We put that out for bid. We've got a winning bidder. Great. We hope to start development in the next six months. The Oval Pits in Kingston uh, off of Rabith Road, another area rich for certain types of development, mm -hmm. solar being one of them. Mm -hmm. We put out to bid the lease of that property. We've got a winning bidder. Uh, that, will, that will generate seventy-five dollars to $100,000 a year in awesome. additional revenue. So okay. solar development, as a green community, that's important to us. Of course it is. And uh, in KWI, we're working out a deal with them so that that thing will spin again. Okay. And uh, and get them back up and running. Good. Okay. Because that's a that's a conversation that every town is having. Um, right. Thank you. I wish we had more time. But people, like you said, can go to um, your town website to see the warrant, um, to see all the articles that are up at town meeting. Educate yourselves. That's I think that's that's the Critical. big clue. Is educate yourselves. Um, thank you so much. Julie, it's all my pleasure. Thank you for coming in. I haven't have been you. in this place since I left the legislature. I miss it. For a while, yeah. Well, we hope to have you back on a regular basis, you sir. You folks do a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.